Um, Habib Nurmagomedov, we saw him get tested uh, by uh, USADA recently. Uh, can you, have you had a conversation with him yet since Abu Dhabi? I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know that happened. But yeah, I mean, I told you guys that I think he's going to go to 30. So, Any update he's on him? He's still testing. Why the hell would you want to test still if you're not going to fight? Has he commi I mean, have you guys talked? Has he committed to that yet? Oh, he, he hasn't committed, but I feel like, I feel like he's going to. Nice. Two other quick ones. And I'm not really pushing him. I, you know, we talked about it, and, you know, he just fought. Let him take some time, spend some time with his family, spend the holidays, and there's no rush. Yeah. It's kind of related to that, I think, but, but Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier, you said it's pretty much done, January 23rd. We haven't had an official announcement. I guess a couple questions. One, um, there's rumblings that might take place in Abu Dhabi. Can you comment on that? And two, That's what? that it might take place in Abu Dhabi. Right. Is, is that the working plan right now? Yeah. Nice. Would that be just one week or would we start Fight Island run again? I'll let you know when it's <laughs> ready to let you know. Like January 16th or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and here's what I find interesting about it. Would that possibly be for a title fight? I mean, that would be two months from now, right? Would you, would you by then hear from Habib and know if he's coming back or not and that could be a title fight? No. Habib's gonna fight. I, I, I believe he's gonna. It's it's not for the title. It's all well and good calling out Tyron when he's lost three in a row, though. Three in a row, though. Oh my God. Three in I mean, a row, know. though. You gotta know. No, but listen, listen. You know, <laughs> I'm not trying to rap. <laughs> he calls out Woodley when he's lost three in a row. Then call him out when he was a champion. He seems to be knocking people out. Ain't talking. Saying stats. Saying facts. Oh my God, a rhyming like that. But now in retrospect, they go, you know, Conor might have been able to win that fight. He probably would have won that fight. Look at the Tyron Woodley now. This Connor's going to fight. I'll say that. You know what I mean? No disrespect to Woodley, but he hasn't been fighting lately. And yeah. in, in the, the Woodley now, I'd favor Connor all day long at 170. I, I would. I get McGregor. You know, McGregor's just trying to puff his chest a little bit there. But, you know, leave Tyron Woodley alone. He's lost three fights. He was the champ. He's gone through a bad time in his life. You know what I mean? That's the way it is. You know, and that's just the way it is. Look at Tyron Woodley. He was the king of the world for a little bit. He was going on Joe Rogan saying, I'm the greatest of all time. And now he's lost three in a row. You know, it doesn't mean his life's over. It doesn't mean, you know, that his, his, his life's going out the window and everything's going to go wrong. You know, he, he had his time on top. And anybody, and just like McGregor, McGregor had his time on top. He's still a great fighter, still a fantastic fighter. But his time as being a two world weight division champion has gone. My time as being a champion has gone. Yeah, I, you know, you got to remember that. You know, it doesn't last forever. It's a very, very small moment in time. And regardless of what that is, in any walk of life,
RDA Dos Anjos versus Paul Felder. Paul Felder was riding his bike and was like, you know what? I'm in shape. I could probably take this fight. Looked phenomenal. His timing, his speed, sharp, crisp striking. One of the best performances he's had. So just a tough matchup for Paul Felder, especially on a five days notice. Went all five rounds, did 25 minutes without really training. He's the MVP of the card. He saved the card, has that phenomenal mustache. Much better fight for RDA. Paul Felder is number seven, so that was a big uh, feather in the cap for RDA. The judging, it just, you know, there's no accountability. Whoever scored that, you, you gotta be out of your goddamn mind. He shouldn't be paid. You should not be paid. If you f up that bad, there has to be consequences. There has to be. I don't get how we can't change this. Now, thank God it didn't, you know, affect the fight where RDA was were to lose that. But shout out to Paul Felder. Shout out to RDA. That judge can eat this dick. <laughs>